Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I'm going to show you my clearance grocery haul. We like to go to the clearance discount store, uh, Bent and Den. There's a lot of things that people call these stores, but here in Colorado near me we have Eshes and they have two locations, but they have a really great selection. I love it. So we like to go at least once a month, maybe even once every two months and we stock up. So we put aside maybe 70 to a hundred dollars to get some shelf stable items and some things that we may need. So I'm going to get you flipped around and show you what I got. Some of these items have prices on them, but a lot of them don't. So I will type it out on the screen for you. But this video is just to inspire you to go to those local stores. I know a lot of towns have them and I don't want you to be afraid of the expiration dates because a lot of the time I'd say, 95% of the time that doesn't really mean anything and food can go way past the expiration. I read a statistic recently that 30 to 40% of the food made and manufactured for the U.S. goes to waste and that amount is incredible to me. And with food being such an insecurity in a lot of people's homes, I find that it's really important to support these stores because of their mission. So if you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. We make videos all about life here in Colorado. We try to be prepared on a budget. So a lot of the time that is going to be with food, whether we grow it, whether you see it in a grocery haul, whether I'm showing you a recipe, we always have our budget in mind. So if you are anything like us, I think you would love to be part of of our YouTube family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'm excited to show you this haul and I'm excited to show you what I plan to do with it. So I'm going to get you turned around and let's check out some of these deals. So I have the baby right behind me. If you're new here, she's about a month old. So uh, if you hear any grunting or little coos, that is her. It's not me, I swear. But let me get you just started over here. My husband got the Berry Colossal Crunch cereal. He's a cereal guy. I don't really like cereal. Uh, I would not say this is the best ingredient. So I would advise you not to buy this at the store, but you can do whatever your heart feels. Over here, we have my kind of thing. The San Francisco Sourdough by Izio Bakery. I got three of these because they were 75 cents each. So I'm gonna package them up nice and tight and put two in the freezer and one is for this week. We needed butter and I can always count on these stores to have organic butter. This is going to expire in about two days, but again, we don't really pay a lot of attention to that kind of thing unless it's meat or I don't know, something specialty. So uh, one's gonna go in the freezer and one's gonna go in some recipes this week. I've been wanting to try this. My son's been putting googly eyes on things. Um, I've been wanting to try this sprouted quinoa for forever and I thought it was a great price, so I got one of those. We got some maple glaze epic salmon bites. My husband really likes these. Nine grams of protein per serving and they're just good to have on the go when you need something to eat quickly. I also have the albacore wild tuna with lemon and thyme. I got two of those. I thought they would be a really great thing, oh no, to put in our 72-hour emergency kits. I got the bovine and swine, the gluten-free bison and pork huckleberry sausage, and we got some grass-fed 100% uh, uncured hot dogs. They were a really great price, and we get these a lot at the actual grocery store. This one was my husband's pick. We ran out of steak sauce and this was a good price. I got some extra virgin olive oil, the Mediterranean selection. Uh, I like it because it's cold extracted and I really enjoy that kind of olive oil. We got some organic mayo for $2.50. It was pretty good. And then we got five pounds of potatoes. I got the Mary's Gone Cookies crackers. My uh, family really enjoys these, but they're super delicious with little cheesecake bites. So that's what I'm going to use them for. I'm going to do some cinnamon swirl cheesecake bites. I have some of this elbow pasta. That was $1.59, but it came down to $0.45. Cents, so that was awesome to find. We needed some more dark chocolate for baking, and I usually just get a big thing like this for $2.75. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. We got some blue corn chips, the organic sea salt, thin and crispy. They're like my favorite corn chips, um, especially because they're organic, but they were a phenomenal value as well. We got some green bananas. My husband and son do not like ripe uh, bananas, and 
Unfortunately, they don't because the best way to eat a banana is when they are brown and spotty. That's the best for digestion. So they needed some green ones uh, and they will eat them when they become yellow. I got some Natalie's organic orange juice to mix with drinks and things like that. They were a dollar a piece, so I was happy to find that. The strawberries were two for three dollars. I know they're not organic, but I can use these uh, just going to wash them off as best as possible. I'm having trouble finding some organic fruit that is a good price. I got a pineapple. My son wanted avocados. He doesn't, I don't really think he likes them. I think he just likes opening them, but I like them. So I will be eating them for us, but they were 59 cents each. Not an incredible deal, but not too bad. We got some creamy peanut butter. My husband puts peanut butter in his protein shake. So we got a big thing of that. We got an orange for his old fashions. We got some sweet potatoes, just two of those, and some fig bars. These were a great price, so we went ahead and picked those up, and the kids really liked them. My husband loves Dunkaroos. He's a Dunkaroo kid. I would not say I ate a ton of them growing up, but apparently he did, so he was very giddy to find these at the discount store. We got some organic blueberries, $1.29, so not bad at all for that. And then we got some raspberries. These will be gone in like a second. We did get some household items. I use this Acure brand a lot for my face serums. Oh, hold on, honey. Uh, and that was $9.99. Normally, these are like $25, $30. I got some Dove uh, Men Plus. This is for my husband. Hold on one sec. We will be bouncing from here on out. This is Amelia Lynn, my sweet one month old, but we also got some Method soap because I needed some. We got some cherries, two pounds of those. And then the kids saw these trolls things. Um, they weren't $6.99, they were $1.99. I figured they'd be good for the car and that is about it. I stopped at my favorite coffee shop and got some Lyft coffee. Oh, honey. She loves being held, but sometimes she gets a bit fussy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get this put away and I wanted to include a recipe. So that's what we're doing today. I'll see you here in a second. Hey everyone, I am getting some dinner in the oven and not to go into too much detail, but I am dairy free for a little bit until we figure some things out for myself and Emmy, but um, you know, that just like really, I don't know, makes things challenging. So we are going to do a lot of bowls, a lot of sheet pan meals and things of that nature, just so I don't have to do too many things separately. But of course my kids and husband can't live without mac and cheese. So I'll be making that and you know, just you know your typicals that we make on the channel unfortunately my cottage cheese though can't have that and that was a big source of protein for me but we're gonna get it figured out and hopefully I can get back to it so tonight we are making some sheet pan veggies and bison so I had a bison sausage in there and then I had bison ground so I'm gonna do the ground bison and I'm gonna do whatever I have on hand so I have potatoes here which will be nice and filling I have a red bell pepper I also have corn so I'm just gonna load it up on the starch and then I have yellow wax beans and I'm gonna serve that with quinoa but you can of course serve it with whatever green that you want I wouldn't necessarily say I'm like following a keto diet or anything but I find that a lot of my recipes kind of just end up being like that so um, when I'm trying to go like light on the rice I go to quinoa and I'm not you know I'm not promoting any diet or anything but I actually enjoy quinoa so I've gotten that question recently why do you cook so much quinoa uh, because I like it so <laughs> that's why I cook it but um, I'm just cooking everything up and then I don't know what I'll serve it with probably just like salt and pepper and maybe I'll do a quick little sauce so I'll just do like I don't know mayo and some mustard maybe some honey and I think I will be <coughs> excuse me just fine that way so Yes, uh, I wanted to just show you this recipe because it's going to be very delicious. I can serve it with some spinach, but Emmy's just having like some stomach problems and it's just making her so uncomfortable and I feel terrible. So we are gonna try a whole slew of things, but 
first things first is to look at my diet because I think that's the most important thing that I can do for her and then, I don't know, move on to the rest of, I guess, I don't know, not pharmaceuticals, but you know, gas drops and things like that. So right now, this is what I have going on. I'm going to get some onion as well if we have it. Yeah, we have some. We have some, all right somewhere okay yeah I'm gonna get a sweet onion and then I will catch up with you when we assemble everything this is really easy I'm just doing olive oil salt and pepper 400 for 25 minutes so I ended up just putting the bison with the potato and veggie mixture again just like a hodgepodge <laughs> And then I'm going to serve mine over some spinach and cucumber. I'm doing a little bit of the no sugar added raised barbecue sauce. And then, like I said, I mixed that mayo with a little bit of honey and mustard. And I drizzled that on top. And I think that will be really good. It will be super filling just because of these potatoes. But, uh, yeah, you can serve it with whatever you want. The family is having mac and cheese from the other night. And we served that with carrots and, like, an onion that uh, blend I guess so I just wanted to show that to you and I'll uh, I guess keep continuing recipes like this where it's well, I guess a little less dairy and low carb